What's up guys? This is the Roferman, or, or the Swordsman as someone uh, commented on my first video, that was pretty good. Uh, welcome to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Let's Play. And in this episode we are taking back Apollonia from the Macedonians. So they've got a lot of cavalry and a few units of militia hoplites, so it should be pretty good. Now uh, Hastati, oh, I can't do the stats in this screen, it would appear. Um, but Hastati are more than enough to deal with both these types of units, so let's go and take them out. So we're probably going to be doing a bit of um, whack-a-mole because right now I've only got one army that's bouncing between Apollonia and Thermon to defend our towns and we can do some recruitment to build up our forces and our strength but the problem is is that we don't really have the economy to do that as quickly as we would like. So let's split up our forces. So what we probably want to do is have a a contingent behind, a pair of Hastati behind each ram ready to go in. Our mercy hot plates are going through the front. Let's put two units of cav coming in here. Let's put our general and Cav coming in from the other direction. So you're both our rammers. You guys are spare, so you can come in here. Our Velites are going to be in loose formation. They're going to follow the main effort. I think that's everyone. Yeah. Okay, let's run our Velites up. So who's over on this flank? We got some hoplites. But the idea is whoever wins and makes the push <laughs> uh, threatens the center. But right now, it looks like we should get some good hits against the militia hoplites. So press Alt to expand tooltip. <laughs> Press hold alt to expand tooltip. No further information. Oh, handy. They've decided to move. And both of our... Oh no, one of our vertes are going for the light cavalry. It's not bad. The uh, Macedonian light lances are... I've heard them described as glass cannons. And I, that seems pretty accurate to me. So there was a unit of hoplites around here somewhere. Okay, they're marching back and forth. So what we want to do is capture the gates, bring up our hoplites, because I want them to block this path, probably with a Valete unit behind, throwing javelins over, send a Hastati or cavalry around the flank to go and smash the scattered units of lancers. go let's bring up our Astarte behind the walls there's no rush to getting them over then my Velites might be actually turn off fire at will it's tempting to hit the lancers but really I suppose you want to save them for the hoplite formations I think that's the right call there So like this unit can fire at will because you're going to throw get some good throws into the flank of that hoplite formation. I mean, if they didn't do this weird uh, redeployment, they would have been in there already. To be honest, you guys might even fire at will because there's a lot of stuff nearby. There's the... okay. I think I'm going to focus on this area first. Because you've got a lot of firepower we can bring to bear. So let's try and march our hoplites in. Ah, 
Astarte are going to follow, but I want to make sure these guys are doing. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is it time to press on and capture this place. So I want to pour my Astarte in. Don't worry about that gate yet. Bring out my cav. Now, as long as my hoplites can get into formation, yeah, this is what was gonna ha always gonna happen. Fire at will. Fortunately, we do have our hoplites up front. We do have our velites. And these light lancers are not great, cavalrymen. So I'm starting to get out on the edges of the formation realistically. You guys might even just fire at will. Because, uh... These guys are going to get within range to throw, get within javelin range, get within pilo range. There we go. Mercenary hoplites. Get them out of formation so they can run. But get ready to drop them into formation again before the cavalry come back in. Start to push our cavalry up the flanks. Let's get our, our infantry up the flanks, I should say. The trouble is, this light cavalry isn't... Yeah, it hasn't got any staying power. Velites keep hurling your jabs. They've now let us in the front gate. Let's go in, charge a Hastati straight into those light lances. Equites run up here to try and get behind this hoplite formation. Those guys are going to have a great time against those light lancers. Mercenary hoplites, you guys just fought, just set up. Get in. Velites have run out of javelins. Let's fall these men back away from the I mean I don't know where the hell these guys are going. You guys throw your peeler. Keep my Ecotes close, because these guys are upset. You guys form up. We've got some good men behind the hoplites. Good, now we can start to chase them down and kill them. Look at that for pathfinding. The cavalry want to go up here, back, around. Ah, okay, let's get my... No. I don't know why these guys are rushing the town centre. The enemy general flees. 
Can we get the king? We got the king. Ekate's get back. My hoplites are very upset. I think the problem is lots of these units have, don't have guard mode on. So there we go. The hoplites got into position and they immediately <laughs> dropped the phalanx. Now they're definitely going to drop it now. It does feel like for some reason lots of these units seem to automatically want to head towards the... Head towards the town centre. I think it's one of these battle defaults, one or two. Guard mode on. So, like, when these guys get sent orders to attack, they don't pursue them the way we don't want them to. So, my cavalry up to the north. You're okay here. These, this unit of Astarte do have a unit of javelins. Huck them. Oh no, they're all going to huck them at that unit of <laughs> two militia hoplites. You guys hit the militia hoplites, you guys preferably hit into the flank, because right now my men here will have a great time against those cavalry. Okay, you guys need to get out of there now. You're gonna hit the you're gonna hit those hoplites in the front. And that's not what we want at all. Lots of men at the back that aren't being used. And I hate how sometimes they can do this shuffle. Okay, now you guys can get in and hit them in the flank. We've got units charging them, walking up to them in the front. That might be okay. This unit on the flank is going to be the one that does the real damage because they're hitting the more vulnerable positions. My cavalry are going to come in and do some good damage on the flanks. The point where these men are trapped. Some of my cavalrymen might leak around the front where they'll get hit by the pikes. Just need to keep an eye on our losses. We're down to 85. So what do these units actually mean? Can one of you asked what I what I should want to do about these units. So it looks like the top unit is, the top symbol is status, whether they're running well it looks like it cycles between if they're running or walking, if they're in combat or not, or if they're tired or not. That's as far as I can get as far as I've got. <laughs> One of them's probably um, morale status if they're wavering or if they're shaken. Uh, but person but generally I, I get that sort of information from either clicking the unit card or looking at the bottom screen. Okay, so we've retaken the city. We're going to occupy it because we don't want to disperse the population. It's unfortunate we can we can't build any, or well, we can't repair repair our Astarte. We've got these men to the north. You got you are going going into Jessica to garrison it. You have Astarte. No, you have Triarii, sorry. These units can recruit. Yeah, I'm starting to put a barracks at Croton. So we can help ship some more troops up to help hit Salona, because right now this guy is probably going to hit Thermon, which is okay. We can't get back there and garrison it. We just need to play it careful, because our treasury is not ideal. Senate mission. Yeah, yeah. Take Aquins. 
Aquinsum. I'm, I'm going to pronounce that. But it's not likely to be important. Amius Brutus has got the military tribune. He's becoming quite a good commander. Plus one command when defending. Improve the chances of your getting elected to senatorial offices. 10% bonus to popularity with the Senate. That's pretty handy. But I think that's everything. Let's hit end turn. Not let our diplomats carry on wandering. But yeah, chances are we're going to be doing a bit of whack-a-mole attacking and defending cities until the army to the north has captured Salona and can move south. Chiefly because we don't have the strength to oppose them in multiple fronts. At least not it's not enough strength under my competency. Let's uh let's let's caveat that. So you start to get up to here. It does delay them shipping along, shipping over. Lots of levy pikes. Put the city under siege. We can take a couple of turns because we're not going to immediately attack it. We want to still build up. Three turns till we get Principes, which is pretty good. Up on the air, can't do anything about. 1,400 people, so it's not too far away from expanding. Okay, it's just a governor. Okay, let's move our diplomat up here just to provide a bit of visibility on what's going on to the north. We could ship our most depleted units of Hastati back to Tarentum to get them retrained before shipping them back. Somewhere we have a merchant. There he is. Gaius of Tarentum. He can go and monopolise the silver for us. Again, I don't quite know if that's the best outcome for him. So from here he's making 10 gold per turn. Potential to make 15. Quantity multiplier is still 1. So I presume a new level of building improves that ratio somewhat. You up to Suggestica. Good. So the town is... I mean, it's growing, not super quickly, but it's growing more. It's growing nonetheless. But yeah, I think we need to boost up this army till they grow bigger. And then we've got two armies down here that can take some of these cities. Rioting in Thermon, that's fine because it's not ours anymore. <laughs> Julia and Carthage are at war. Britannia and Spain are allies. The Greeks and Julia have declared a ceasefire. That's okay. So have we. Okay, you can now start to build troops to send to the front. It's not an ideal thing that we're doing because right now we're building up our building up our uh, military forces, but we haven't got a particularly strong garrison behind us. Especially when the Macedonians are pumping out significantly more men than us. But it does mean we can get our Hastati back, back to Apollonia. Two more turns till we get upgraded until we get upgraded uh, if we get principes it's like slowly expanded this army should really have taken that starting it back with us or those two units for retraining okay one thing I do want to do is also start to not recruit starting and go after cavalry Let's go just for just the one for the moment. Let's check our building browser. Suggest to to the north. Let's build roads for some cheap economy growth. Apollonia still can't grow. 1,400 or 1,500 people. So if you move down here, you get visibility of what's going on here. And it's lots of militia hoplites and levy pikemen, so I'm not overly concerned by them. Uh, 
move you out of the way to make sure you're definitely... You definitely know you're not coming after us. Well, not, not, not coming after us, but, you know, they're not... They're not in the way. Let's retrain that cavalry. We could probably meet them, to be honest. Their cavalry's not very good, their militia hoplites aren't very good. Militia hoplites, no. Like I said, they're not very good. Two grand. I'm gonna go up to... Yeah, estimated balance. 20... Uh, 3200, which isn't bad for now. Two turns till we get our new barracks. Two turns till uh, Croton gets a governor's palace. It's hit and turn. It would be very good to start rolling out some prince pays. Macedon, yeah, they keep generating more men. They're pushing around to the north. I think the name of the game is to just keep so keep building out of that northern army. So we've got two forces to the south. Because the problem is, if I push... Yeah, there's a spy here. If I push this army south, then any army can just come around to the north and take the city. Which I don't want it to do. You men deposit your troops. You've got a cavalry unit that belongs in the original city. I could, to be honest, I could use this, this, this navy to go knock out that Macedonian ship. Let's retrain. I, I want them to try and sally so we can fight them on the open field, realistically. It can only last for two more turns, so let's get ready to do something else. So you're not you're not building anything, Suggestica. You can build land clearance now to help growth. You are still waiting, so may recruit another unit of peasants to ship over to there to dump out or to uh, disband can you recruit a merchant i've already recruited your merchant croton can't yet recruit one we have some news agent found from mastodon and apollonia sent officers we are not none of us have been selected oh an active diplomat oh yeah it's because you don't really have a function. We try. Well, we could try and get the Greeks to attack the Macedonians, but I doubt they're going to do that. I'm content with them being early warning. <laughs> because we've got three diplomats now, haven't we? Okay, let's treat with this guy. I don't know how important ma trade information trading is with these guys. I don't know how well our trade actually... I don't know how well our trade networks actually go. So if I go to Suggestica, who are you trading with? None. <laughs> Not trading with anyone. No imports, no exports. You do have... Oh, is it because this guy is monopolising your... What's that? Ah, wine. That's interesting. I want you to send a merchant up to there to, well, to test. Send a merchant up there to try and boot that guy off my wine. They do want an agent up here to go take gold from Salona. But let's hit end turn. It's like a whole new breed of economic warfare. <laughs> but soon the army at Salona will have to sally. And that's what I want. I want to fight them on the open field. But I think this turn we've now got our upgraded barracks in Tarentum, which means we can get uh, Principes, which is great. Okay. 
Let's just go knock out the Macedon fleet and probably have to fight those rebels, even though I don't want to because I can't get out of it. We sunk one of their ships. Let's try and get you back to the fleet. We can get you to shore. We've got no one. Actually, you go here. Let's get these peasants over into Apollonia. Let's go and disband them. Just to give them a bit of a boost. I don't know if that still works, to be honest, in this game. Tarantum, you can... Okay, this is the problem now. We're starting to get bottlenecked on our economy. Trading Base trading can bonus 100%. That's pretty damn good for a grand. Croton, yeah, so we're starting to run out of... Not run out of money, but we're starting to get to the point where things are more expensive. But his trade income... Bonus 100%. It's pretty damn good. So it feels like they're probably going to sally this turn, which I'll take. Can't really send anyone anywhere. Path blocked. One of our diplomats. Yeah. Run around to the Britons. Trade rights, map info, map info. What do you consider? Uh, I'm not going to pay you money. What do you consider? No. Nope. Until next time. Screw you then. <laughs> Not interested. Goodbye. Let's go down to the Gauls. Let's hop over to this diplomat and see if we can. No, not a trade embargo. Yeah, if I can knock out Salona, then I can move down to threaten something like Thessalonica or Larissa. But you can now build... Bridge up eyes. That's what we want, although we've got no money. How do we do it fixed next turn? 1400. Quite all resources, yep, because you're sat there taking the town. Or will be. Macedonia moving up their spies. Hey, we just took it. They didn't even sally. That's odd. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> A uh, free capture. I suppose they didn't think they could win on the open field, so they didn't want to sally. It's a bit odd. Usually they will always sally the last. It's unfortunate about this. So those ships. We have no safe harbour. We can move up towards safe harbour. Pick up our prince pays, dump them over on Apollonia. Salona was captured without shots being fired, so can we take almost everyone out of the city? I mean, we've got they've got a garrison, and we can recruit a peasant unit to try cheer them up. But let's have a look at Salona. So, Salona will be an interesting test case, because we own the city, we've got a mine, but we've got a Julii uh, merchant on our gold. Which we still have access to. Okay. Okay, let's click Suggestica now. Okay, now we do have access to trade. But then again, trade was... Oh no, sorry. They've got access to trade because now we've got Salona and Salona can now trade with Suggestica. I am done. Nope, well, that's good. Salona's making us uh, a good amount of cash per turn. Devastation is, is a bit higher than we would like, but that's okay. So I think I probably want this guy to move... Southwest towards Larissa, and I want to engage their main force with my army. And we have a new member of the family. So let's move you out of the city. Yeah, they're unhappy about it for now. They'll they'll come to terms with it. Let's march you down here. Let's check the building tab. 
So Jessica can't build anything. Apollonia can't build anything. Salona. Oh no, wait. I haven't even got the building thing up. Nothing, nothing. Salona can build a barracks. So let's do that. Tarantum's still building roads. Let's get another unit of Prince Pays on the go here. I don't really want any more Hastati because I can recruit them from lots of places. I think that's okay. Five turns to take Aquinsum, but hopefully the Dacians capture it. And it means we don't have to worry about it. Idle resources are spy and our diplomat. Yeah, because right now my diplomat's functioning as a spy. <laughs> or attempting to. Welcome, friend. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to ask them to attack factions. Because I don't want them to do anything. I mean, they should not like the Macedonians. Well, the Macedonians should not like them. Let's hit end turn. I think they assassinated one of my generals. <laughs> My cunning eye spotted that something wasn't quite right about that guy. He looks very poorly. Is that Germania pushing down from the north? I think the Greeks are fighting the Macedonians? If they are, that's big news. Polonia's upset, so my general might have to stay behind as a governor. First of all, diplomatic information. Allies and ceasefire. Oh, this is all older news. Now, rioting. They've broken the governor's house. Cornelius Brutus has come of age. Oh, well, he did. Then he was... he just come of age and he was summonedly executed. Summarily executed, I should say. Let's get you guys into port so we can repair repair their ships. Probably add one more. You keep pushing in to go threaten Larissa while we also push from here towards Thermon. So let's check if Macedon is at war with... Oh, how do I check this out? I mean, I know who I'm at war with. Don't want this, don't want finances. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit flat in terms of overall ranking, but we're going back up. Be quick. Our patience Aha. is limited. Okay. Well, the ally with Gaul, the enemies with everyone... No, they're not at war with, Mas with Greece. Sadly. Okay, construction tab. I don't think we've got any towns growing, so two... Suggestica and, Suggestica and Apollonia should still be... Ah, repair your governor's building... Okay, hold on. I hear my phone. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I think th things are looking up. Once we push down and take Larissa, that should certainly help, especially as it's a minor city. But the main threat is going to be this army down here, which I ho hopefully want to meet on the open field. Preferably, probably with extra cavalry. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm glad we've managed to capture back some of our territories, and I'll see you next time for the continued adventures against the Macedonian Empire. Cheers, everyone.